Hello and welcome to Carlton Town TV. Uh, and we've brought it into the 21st century because we're doing this uh, via Zoom. Um, thank God it's me doing it and not uh, not the chairman. Uh, might have had a few troubles, but I am here with new signing, uh, James Matthews. Uh, James, welcome. Um, what are your, your first impressions? I know you chatted to the, the chairman the other night. Uh, how do you feel about joining the club? Yeah, obviously I'm buzzing to join. Uh, it's a couple of steps up from the league I've been playing at this season. And really excited after speaking to the gaffers, you know what I mean? The, their ambitions match mine and I'm uh, excited to get down to it, yeah. Um, you've obviously had, um, from uh, kind of like having a chat with Mick, um, you know, your ar arranged career that began at, at Mansfield, is that right? Um, so obviously... How long were you at Mansfield? Talk to me about your time there, because that's got to be an experience. Um, and yeah, then, yeah. like, how yeah. gutting was it to, to have to end that chapter? Yeah, yeah, left there after school, did a couple of years in new system, didn't really work out. You know, obviously, it's, it's not nice, it didn't work out, but sort of spared me on a little bit, you know what I mean? I've seen, seen a few lads that I know from Mansfield go through, and a few are playing in first team now, you know what I mean? And, I didn't take it. I took it the right way. I used it as motivation, you know what I mean, to keep going. So, yeah. Oh, it's got to be good from just like a an educational sense in terms of improving yourself as a player to be around that kind of that kind of level of football. Would that be fair to say? Yeah, well, it's, it was full-time football, really. Obviously, you're doing your education at the same time, but it was training every day. So, yeah, I was improving every day, yeah. Um, and then, like, when you, you left, did they kind of have any, any parting parting advice to you or, or or things like that? No, not really. It was quite, obviously, football's quite cutthroat, so I didn't, <laughs> didn't really get much. And yeah, it just sort of sent me on my way. Um, so after that, um, like, we'll try and cut it to a relative segment of, uh, you know, Mansfield to Carlton. Kind of, do you want to, if you just run us through to give, like, the fans a bit more knowledge about what you've done in between then and obviously now? Um, I've stayed quite local, been at AFC, Mansfield, Shirebrook, then more recently Ellerton, but last pre-season was at Gainsborough. Then Gainsborough, there's, there's a few older lads, I was only 20 at the time, just turned 20, and uh, I weren't really guaranteed game time, so that's why I came to Ellerton. You know, that's the most important thing for me is playing games. So, yeah. And uh, so, kind of like how, how long were you at uh, Ollerton for and how much did like the whole COVID lock affect your, yeah. your time there? I'd like to say I established myself as a player as, as well as I could with COVID at Ollerton. Obviously it was quite stop start and then it's been cancelled but yeah it really it got me enjoying my football again at Ollerton you know I was playing games week in week out. I had a great team but still I've got a great team. Uh, great gaffers just yeah got me enjoying my football again and then that's where move move to Carlton came from as well. So, yeah, well, got thanks for Carlton. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that uh, like obviously, I I know you you're held in high regard there. Um, yeah. The perk is you're now with us. So, uh, like, um, in terms of your game at Ollerton, bringing that across to to Carlton, what kind of like would you say the main aspects of how you play are what can you like bring to the Carlton side I like to think I bring a bit of everything obviously you know no one's no one's bringing everything but I like to think I'm a box to box midfielder I like, I like to well everyone likes to score goals but I'm going to try and score a few goals and, um, and, yeah you say a few um I heard off uh Mick that you you would be disappointed if you didn't make double figures is that 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 correct yeah, yeah. personal target I've set myself yeah Double figures by the end of the season, hopefully. Yeah. Um, obviously, spoke to to our gaffers, Tommy and Mark. What are your your first impressions of them? Like, how do you feel they'll be different to work under? Yeah, that was it. I was I, I had a couple of teams that, that that were interested, but after speaking to the gaffer, the their ambition, you know what I mean? They don't they don't want to sit around in the same league for two, three seasons. They want to be winning titles and and, and going for promotions, and that that's what every player wants. So. And yeah. you talk about promotions and that. Is that like the immediate aim for this season in terms of what you've got off them? And 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 from just from a personal point, what would your 
your ambition be at, at Carlton? Well, personal point me is, you know what I mean? I want to be first name on team sheet. I think any player should want that. Then obviously I spoke about goals, assists, you know, that's just as a midfielder. But then as a team, obviously, you know, we want to be winning every game. I know it's not not possible to win every game, but you should should want to win every game. And uh, titles, promotions, cup runs, yeah, the, after speaking to the gaffers, that's what they want too, so yeah. You say that, that there'd be no harm in being the invincibles of the uh, <laughs> of the Step 7, like that, that'd that have a nice <laughs> little ring to it. Uh, yeah, it would. Um, in terms of, I guess, just like introducing uh, yourself to the fans, the guys that, you know, they might be obviously familiar with you, um, but for those that aren't, like... Do you just want to kind of give them an introduction? And equally, have you got like a, a message you'd want to to give to to the the fans of Carlton Town, the 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 aged fans, as a previous interview that will be posted tonight um, would uh, would claim we are. Um, I'm not sure what to say. I'm not. I'd like to let my football do this talking. Really, hopefully, my that's it. Really, yeah. I don't um, know. Mate, uh, feel free to let your football do the talking. That yeah. I'm sure all of the fans would be perfectly happy with that. Um, in terms of like being a fan outside of Carlton, just a little bit of back, like, is there a certain team you support, or is it more you, yeah. you like dive in and um, immerse yourself into the club you club you're playing for type thing? Uh, I'm an Arsenal fan outside of playing. Yeah, my dad's side's from London, so it was. They were good to support when I was a bit younger, but they're not too good. So. Well, you can be <laughs> chuffed chuff with last night, mate. There's nothing... Yeah, yeah it's about that. that though. Uh, to be fair, I um, I, 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 I collect football kits. Um, yeah. And I was wearing my Arsenal away kit from the season to watch them beat Chelsea last night, which was nice because it was as a City fan, it was nice to see Chelsea actually lose to someone for a change rather than beating us at every opportunity. Yeah, but you're buzzing then, City fan. Well, d- buzzing, but nervous, especially yeah. after watching. I mean, you did a job over as 4-1, was it, or something like that last year yeah. in the FA Cup? Like, so Chelsea could easily do that to us in the Champions League final. And uh, yeah, but buzzing, if that happened, would be very different. More yeah. maybe like crying in a corner or, 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 <laughs> or similar how I imagine you felt for the last couple it's of easy. years. Like, and the rest. Um, but yeah, no. Um, so, and then like, really, outside of football, is that your everything? Or is it sounds like I'm building you a Tinder profile or something, but like, <laughs> what, are your, what are your hobbies outside of football? Uh, outside of football, gym, training with my dad, work. That's about it at the moment with COVID going off. There's not really much else I can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I feel, 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 feel your pain there. But, mate, is the, the less less outside of football, the more it means you'll be focusing on Carlton Town. Yeah. Um, well, to be honest, mate, um, that's a perfectly like great introduction, I feel, for for the fans. Um, I look forward, obviously, to to seeing your, your contribute goals, you know, heading forward. Um, last words, really, and looking forward to to getting back to to the graft of preseason. Obviously, I know we just announced a, a couple of friendlies uh, for for July time. How much are you looking forward to that? Yeah, yeah, I've seen the friendlies. We've got quite a few, so it'll be nice to get some minutes in there. And yeah, it's just a pain I've got to wait so long for preseason. <laughs> I've been about three months off with with, with the pandemic. Yeah, well, I can totally feel you there because just being able to get down to some live football would be nice for me, even if it is on the other end of a camera with a beer be- beside me. But, <laughs> um, but James, look, appreciate it. Thanks for, for, for locking in with me this, uh, this morning. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to do one of these in person at some point. Hopefully. Yeah, I'm sure we will. All right, mate. Thank you All very right. much.